Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sheila Olson. I'm Chief Services and Programs Officer for Goodwill Easter Seals, Minnesota. And on behalf of our organization and our excellent partners, the City of St. Paul, Urban Homeworks, Twin Cities Community Land Bank, and the St. Paul Housing and Redevelopment Authority, I'd like to extend my welcome to all the guests here today to this exciting um, day for St. Paul residents. Goodwill Easter Seals is pleased to help lead and shape workforce development in the state of Minnesota. While we offer many different services and programs uh, to prepare people for work, today we're here to celebrate, to celebrate Building Innovation, a partnership between Goodwill Easter Seals, Urban Homeworks, and the City of St. Paul to construct four new homes in the Frogtown neighborhood. And as you see, this is home number one. Um, as a licensed building contractor, this uh, provided Goodwill Easter Seal students with experience um, with many scopes of work at a prof professional production pace and workplace qualities expected from employers in the industry. Some of the interesting things with this, 56 students had an opportunity to work on this home. We had multiple classes of 12, um, and 56 students had an opportunity to work in this beautiful home, and those students earned together a wage of $28,626 in training money that went into their wages. So uh, a nice win-win there. They also, um, after completing the 12-week training, walked away uh, with OSHA 10 safety certificate, lead abatement worker certifica certification, and they also earned 36 continuing education units from St. Paul Community College that they can take with them and look at other uh, training opportunities to build their skills as they pathway their, pathway their career forward. Uh, we'll hear from two of those students here shortly as they talk about their experience in program and also where they're at today. And then I also should note, not only did this project provide hands-on experience for Goodwill Easter Seals um, students, it provided an experimental learning for St. Paul College's cabinetry students. They were the ones that installed and built the cabinets in the kitchen. So as you go through, you can kind of see their work. And under construction, a summer high school construction training program framed and built the garage in the back of the house. So make sure you stop by and look at both of those. You know, and, it, and in um, the end of what I want to say is, you know, this partnership really is, I'm proud to say, a triple win for St. Paul. In addition to providing the training um, that prepares people for careers in these trades, it increased the level of participation by Section 3 individuals and also provides affordable housing to the community. So there's going to eventually be here a low-income family that will be moving into this home. So a nice triple win for St. Paul. But now to say a few words, I would like to introduce and have you warmly welcome St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman. Thank you so much. And thank you to Goodwill Easter Seals. This is uh, really a remarkable partnership that has been formed here to accomplish this task. And uh, I can't agree more uh, in your description of this as a triple win because it's exactly what we have here, if not even uh, more than a triple win. Uh, when you think about just the, uh, the fact that we are taking this house here, uh, turning it over to a family, uh, but helping stabilize the community as well. Uh, think about the relationship between the family that will live here and the school directly across the street that's part of our promised neighborhood. Uh, and the, uh, the work that we can do with our families that move in. Uh, and how that you know, one, one house on a block uh, can have such a ripple effect for an entire community, an entire neighborhood. And I think that that's what you're seeing here. As you walk through this house, it's clear that this was a house built with love uh, and pride. Uh, and I think that that's the nicest thing about that. You walk in uh, and there is nothing that would suggest to you that this was a training project. Uh, these, were, these were skilled craftspeople that, uh, that took their training, uh, that took their work seriously, and I'm sure with a great deal of pride, uh, can now walk in the front door of this house uh, and know what they are capable of and know what they accomplished. Uh, it is. Uh, it is not easy to put these partnerships together. Uh, they're difficult, uh, but it takes foresight, it takes vision, it takes determination. Uh, the folks in the leadership of our Human Rights and Equal Economic Opportunity Department that worked so hard to develop this program and get it off the ground and get it running, uh, let's hope that this is just the beginning because there's so much that needs to be done still, uh, not only to build more homes for more families in our community, 
but to provide more pathways out of poverty for the folks that are working on those houses, to create those opportunities, to create those skill sets, to get the certifications. <laughs> uh, and as we work to build the city of St. Paul, it has always been our goal that we would provide opportunities for everyone that works on those sites, uh, everyone that needs a job, uh, everyone that didn't have those skills before, to give them the opportunity and the skills that they need to be a part of a project like this. I was just on a radio program this morning, and one of the questions that was asked is, you got all this construction going on around St. Paul. Are you really creating opportunities for everybody in the city, uh, for people of color, for low-income people, for women that are trying to get into the construction trades? And the fact of the matter is, it is these types of partnerships that will make that possible. It is these types of partnerships that will make that happen. So whether you're building a home for one family, or a stadium for thousands of fans, or a light rail line for millions of passengers. We need to make sure that all of those things are, are, are projects that are built by the members that reflect this community, uh, that reflect our values, and reflect the best of the city of St. Paul. So thank you to Goodwill Easter Seals. Thank you for the partnership. One of our great partners is our Ward 1 Council Office. Uh, Council Member Tal is not able to be here, uh, but his assistant I is going to uh, say a few words as well. So thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Mai Chang Zhang, legislative aide to Council Member Dai Tao. He regrets he cannot be here today, um, but he also wants to um, send and share his excitement about the work that is happening in our ward. Um, so this is Ward 1. Welcome to our neighborhood here. Um, he said, I am so proud of our community for coming together to strive towards economic equity. I want to highlight our neighborhood association for their role in also speaking with residents and continuing to engage them in participating in construction training programs. I also want to thank Mayor Coleman for his leadership um, and our city staff who made this day happen. I also want to thank Goodwill Easter Seals and Urban Homeworks for their dedication and commitment to our community and working alongside with members from here and having that investment and trust in them. Economic equity happens when the city listens to its residents and align policies, resources, and partners. 462 Edmond here today is proof that we all achieve together uh, when we do it together. Again, <laughs> on behalf of our office, I wanna share how excited we are about this project and we're looking forward to many of the, the similar model that's gonna happen into the community. And now I'd like to transition over to Chad Schwitters from Urban Homeworks. Good afternoon and thanks for coming out. My name is Chad Schwitters. I am uh, on the Urban Homeworks team. And um, this project is called Building Innovation. And the reason it's called Building Innovation is because what's innovative about it is when a bunch of different groups get together and decide that there's something more important than our own self-interest and we create something that's more powerful and potent than we could alone. And so what's awesome about this program and this project is that it took more of the dollars that it went to go into this building and it equipped and trained people to change the economic trajectory of their life for a long time to come. We can do better at this kind of thing as a community of people. About 15 years ago, a guy by the name of Dave Sanis and I started talking and we were working together and he said, wouldn't it be great if we every dollar and dime that went into the construction of these projects and into these rehabs and new construction buildings impacted and lifted the economic condition of people in our community that are going to live in the in the houses that are going to go to our neighborhood schools and 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 build community on the block and ever since then he's been working diligently with people like urban homeworks goodwill easter seals the city of st paul the city of minneapolis and all the it, all the people that it takes to come alongside something like this so i just want to say thanks for being a part of the mix Thanks to the Urban Homeworks team for making some of this happen. Thanks for the Twin Cities Community Land Bank, for LISC, for the Neighborhood Group, for the City of St. Paul, uh, for Goodwill Easter Seals, and for all the hard work that it takes to put something like this together. It's going to take a lot more of these kinds of things to demonstrate the potency of what can happen when we look at housing investments as job creation and what we can, what, what, and how all that can all play out over time. So thanks for being here. Come take a look at the house. I'm going to turn it back over to Sheila. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, it's my pleasure now to introduce 
Um, I think Evan's coming first. Evan Taylor. And following Evan will be Treasure Bru- Treasure Brewster. They're graduates of the Goodwill Easter Seals Skills Training Program, and they will be speaking. They're going to tell you a little bit about their experience and then what they're doing now. Uh-huh. Well, thanks for everyone coming out and... This is my first time seeing this project completed. It's a beautiful house. Uh, when I first started here, it, it obviously didn't look anything like this. We had no sod. We had, it was, uh, we, we started here at uh, the beginning of April, mid-April. And uh, it had house wrap on there. We had windows up. We could go inside, but it was just the frame of the house. So uh, it was such a great hands-on learning project. And Goodwill's Easter Seals really helped me move forward in my career. I wanted a career change and I, I needed some of those tools to help move on. And we had six weeks in the classroom. We built small structures, 10 by 12 houses. So we got all of the hands-on applications that we applied here. And, and then we, we came out to this job site and we all helped put this together in such a great way. So it, it really came together excellently. And my training uh, landed me a job working with the roofers union right now. I'm, I was working out at a project in Woodbury. I do commercial flat roofing. And without my training in Goodwill, I didn't, wouldn't have had the, uh, the OSHA training that really helped me further my career. So it, it, was, a, it was a great experience learning all these hands-on trades and applying them here, working in a team, getting this done with great trainers and a great partnership. It took a lot of people to make this happen. And it's, it's great to be here today to actually experience it and, and witness it and be part of it. It's, uh, it's been, been great. So I hope Goodwill, Easter Seals, and Urban Homeworks can, can keep continuing this great, great uh, partnership and to further this, further more homes like this in the neighborhood. There's, there's two down the street here that they're working on. So I'm really excited that I, I got to be a part of this. And I'll pass it over to Treasure. She can talk a bit about her experience as well. Hello, I'm Treasure Brewster. Um, I graduated from this program in February, actually. I did the framing of the house. I currently work for a painting company based out in Plymouth. I'm working in Burnsville. Um, I had a lot of fun building this house, I should say. I really enjoy the instructors in the program. It's a great opportunity for people who don't really have the opportunity to try and do new things or have the financial availability to step out and walk on a limb and hopefully a lot of people will take this and say hey I can do it and move on with it. Uh, I live in the neighborhood so I get to drive fast and be like hey I built that. (laughs) Hey I built that. So it's it's a lot of self-satisfaction I should say Um, and I appreciate everybody coming out and looking at it and hopefully someone out here is interested in it. But, that's it? Well, now we're going to allow you guys to grab some refreshments, and then we'll give you a tour of the house. <laughs> 